This is a picture of me killing a crown of thorns. And can scientists help corals by killing these starfish? Let me explain. Crown of thorns are large sea stars with up to 21 arms covered in venomous spines, and they are voracious eaters of the live polyps of hard corals. While these starfish are healthy predators that keep marine ecosystems in check, since the 1960s, scientists have noted a spike in cyclically recurring, uncontrolled outbreaks of hundreds of crown of thorns ravaging entire reefs and leaving nothing in their wake. A growing body of research suggests that these outbreaks are likely induced by a combination of human-caused factors. For instance, the same warming waters that bleach many corals are waters that the crown of thorns actually thrive in and can reproduce in loads. Crown of thorns are also prosperous in industrial fishing hotspots, likely because intensive harvesting eliminates many of their predators. So, volunteers and government bodies have started culling programs. Since 2012, for instance, the Australian government collects data from 3,000 plus reefs in the Great Barrier Reef every year and uses computer models to predict which reefs are likely more vulnerable to the crown of thorns. Then their experts cull the stars by injecting them with a single shot of household vinegar which crown of thorns are actually allergic to. The starfish then decay on the spot in 24 to 48 hours, and they are left for other animals to feed on. Research suggests that the systematic culling program is working, even boosting coral cover by 44% in some areas. But not all culling programs have worked in the past. In Japan, experts manually removed about 13 million crown of thorns from 1970 to 1983 in an effort that was mostly unsuccessful. So not everybody agrees, and I'll explain why in part two of this video.